My name is Nick Sprock and I'm a strategic consultant here at Element Fleet Management. I'll be speaking to you about how to choose the right vehicle for your fleet based on total life cycle cost. Oftentimes when choosing vehicles, clients say, I would like to order this model because I've negotiated good incentives with the motor company, or we will go with these models because they are inexpensive to maintain. But there are other factors that should be considered when making your vehicle selections. Let me give you an example. Let's look at these three vehicles. We will look at how their total cost of ownership changes as we look at each contributing factor. We assume that all of these vehicles can do the job equally, so we will only concentrate on the cost. Based solely on invoice price, vehicle number two is the most cost effective option out of the three. Once we add the incentives into the mix, vehicle number three becomes the number one option. We generally recommend that you approach as many manufacturers as possible to negotiate the incentives and decide on the one that has the best package from the total cost of ownership perspective. There is another important factor to consider. Once you negotiate the incentive, you will receive an incentive check from the motor company. So what should you do with it? Should you cash the check or should you use the money to de decrease the capitalized cost of the vehicle? The answer to that will depend on your company. A fast-growing company that needs capital may benefit from cashing the incentive check by investing it internally. An established company may want to lower the capitalized cost of the vehicle to decrease the interest charges. This is a good conversation to have with your fleet team before making any final decisions. Next we look at operating costs such as fuel and maintenance. Taking those costs into consideration, vehicle number two is again the best option out of the three because of the lowest total cost. Finally, we will add the residual or the resale value into the mix. Once this is added, vehicle number one becomes the best choice for your fleet. These values, especially operating costs, can be accurately estimated based on a fleet management company's expertise and the amount of information it collects about vehicles under management. Statistics, after all, are only as good as the sample size and quality of the data being measured. In conclusion, to ensure that you are choosing the best vehicle based on life cycle costs, consider all aspects of total cost of ownership. Also, fleet management companies with a large number of vehicles under management will have access to more data, which will allow them to more accurately predict cost of a vehicle. It is also important to consult with Element and your finance department regarding the motor company incentives and decreasing capitalized cost of vehicle versus invest internally. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please contact Element Fleet Management using the link below. Thank you.